47 and 48 is where we're going to be. These are 19 litters. Uh, younger Yorkshires in, in the group, uh, sired by the vending machine boar. Uh, as I talked in our last group, a boar we picked up from Rotoballs. We saw him at the farm, uh, liked him, and ended up crashing into him there at Louisville. Got him uh, got him loaded up. Uh, Camden really liked him as well, driving by in his scooter. Uh, the mother would be an all-by-myself times up. Uh, that is a guilt that's out of the uh, Roxanne sow that uh, Brantley showed in 2020. Um, that was grand overall from Kilmer's. Bred her all by myself and her last litter. Kept that daughter, and then uh, this is uh, that's the mother of this litter. Vending machine all by myself. Times up. Leaps is the way the pedigree reads. Uh, and these are uh, January gilt. Some of the younger ones in the group. Uh, so kind of a neat pedigree, interesting, putting the rotoball ball back on the Kilmer stuff. Um, and, I, and I like these vending machines quite a bit there uh, uh, as a whole, the couple litters that we've had. We're going to start with 19.7. Um, <clears throat> 19.7 a guilt that I think uh, uh, is, is still immature in her type and kind. Uh, uh, she's one that I think will feed awfully good. Awesome tail set, really level, correct, uh, uh, loose and flexible. She's greener and more immature. Both of these gilts are uh, than maybe some would would uh, uh, prefer, but uh, I think this would work to her advantage. I like this gilt density she's got. She's going to have some hair that will help her uh, her overall just uh, uh, density to her texture, to her skin. Uh, I'm not saying she's the most out there, heaviest structured one, but I do think that will work there. She's feminine. She's level. She's correct. Um, I think a gilt that's going to feed tremendously good. Going to get into that August setting, maybe a little bit past if you need to, uh, because she is uh, ultra good looking, not going to get too chubby. This one here is really green in her makeup, the Dash 8 Gilt. Uh, that'd be lot 48. Uh, she's a gilt that uh, I do appreciate the, the look that she's got, uh, other than her bad skin will get cleaned up there. She's uh, uh, she's pretty raw in her type and kind. Uh, she's not uh, as fleshy as some might be. Uh, she needs to come come together there, but uh, the Yorkshire gilts that start a little bit greener and, and ganglier, I guess the best way to put it, sometimes can make the best matures. But uh, uh, she's loose, she's flexible, she's square off both ends. These 19s, I think, have a nice future. Very easy feeding pigs.